broccoli. Definitely a go-to, always ends up being a leftover. You can eat it cold, yeah, you can take yeah. it out of the fridge, eat a the little bit. The way they pack it in, there's always so much more. You're like, that's not that much, and you put, take it out of the thing. And exactly, so we're taking advantage of two insanely delicious ingredients, chicken and broccoli. We're gonna bust it up a little bit, turn it into a Let's pasta. Bust it up, what are we doing? Some noodles hanging around, cook a few of those up. Take the delicious packets that they give you, the Chinese takeout. We got soy sauce, we got spicy mustard, and then we got the duck sauce. These three together, I figured would make an insane, delicious sauce for our pasta. And if you're not from the East Coast of America, you probably don't know what duck sauce is. And if you are from the East Coast of America, you probably don't know what duck sauce <laughs> is either. So the noodles are done cooking over here, or they're almost done. They're a little al dente, which is perfect because we're gonna add the sauce and infuse that into the, the noodle cooking process. But we're just gonna drain them off real quick and add them right back in there. Don't worry if they're not perfectly drained. Then we're gonna take our chicken and broccoli. And I'm gonna just film Mike so you guys can see in close. Pretend these are my eyes. Add that to the mix. And then of course, we're gonna add our sauce packets. You know what, I'm gonna add some mixing, sesame seeds mixing. to the to the pot. Wasn't part of the deal, man. I know. If you don't have them, don't worry about it. Like I said, you know, it's not about what you have, it's just about having fun and being creative with leftovers. The noodles had about two minutes to really infuse with the sauce. And the nice thing about this that I just realized is, Typically, if you're making leftovers, like you're not gonna have that much left over. It's like a little half, maybe a quarter of a chicken and broccoli. If you're adding pasta, now this is gonna feed a few people. Exactly. Which is pretty Let's get that egg on there. Okay. Throw on that egg you made before. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Look a, mm. look a, look a chicken, look a. Let's just, just a small. take a taste. Whoa. Wow. That is unlike anything I've ever experienced in my mouth before. That's the cool thing about this process. Well, We're we'll creating new flavors. Mm, I love the spicy mustard in there. Can't deny that. Egg needs a little, a little salt. salt. It's really interesting because it kind of is almost like honey mustard for some reason. I have no idea yeah. what. But the duck sauce oh and the spicy mustard. That's what it is. It's the sweet duck with the, mm. with the spicy mustard. Bah, 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 bah. All right, Mike, what do we got? Steak and mashed potatoes. Not only a classic leftover from the restaurants, but maybe your mom made this on Sunday and it's yeah. lying around. But throwing them out would be a mistake. And so we're gonna create a cake with the mashed potatoes, fry that off, and then make a little mixture to put on top of it with the steak. So you can work on that. I'm gonna take the steak out. So we got the mashed this. potatoes in a bowl. They're a little wet. If they're not wet, you can probably throw them right in the pan and fry them off. But what we'll do is we'll add a little cheesy goodness. No, no, no you don't add cheese. I'll show you what you do. Make oh, I, I, this guy thinks he knows it all. Take a little flour. Wet your hands first. Get, let's get a pan hot, son of a bastard. All right, pan hot. You don't even do that. You don't even know. You can mix a little flour in, but what I actually think might work is flour the outside, right? No. Uh, and I think, I don't know. What were you thinking about the cheese? Oh, well, I'll show you. Give me a little more flour. I was thinking about just mixing the cheese right in. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's why they call him the younger brother. Not because he was born three years after me. Because he thinks you just mix the cheese into the croquette. I think they're called croquettes, actually, Mike. So what you do, you get the cheese. Oh, the cheese. I see what you're saying. If I wet my hands, it should do something to help me. All right, flatten give that me out. Give me it, give me it. That's a good amount of cheese. Jesus, Jesus Christ, that's a lot of cheese. You kind of, you know, try to get the cheese on the inside. That way, when we fry them, we get like mm. a cheesy ball bastard. So, there's these things called arancinis or something, Aran, arancini, arancini, I don't know, but basically like a risotto ball. This is kind of a similar concept. You're just taking mashed potatoes and you're making like a fried ball. You could bread these. Sometimes people will actually do like the flour, egg, breadcrumb mixture. Now that is freaking awesome. But, you know, we can't afford these things. 
Well, you actually pat those down. I'm, I'm going for the more cake because I'm going to add something on top. Pat them down. Like push them down so they're a pancake. Bit, yeah. you? Thought we were making balls. Of course, we have to do something with this steak. And I figured, you know, we could just put steak right on top of these cakes, but we'll make a little it. mixture. Jeez. Slice those up. Keep slicing, keep slicing. But we're gonna cook up some mushrooms, add that to the steak, create a little mixture, a little topping for the little pancakes we're making. Thank you. Look at that. Turns out I do know what I'm doing, guys. Let me. Ooh. When it comes to this stuff, you just gotta be confident. You know, you just gotta be like, I can do it, and I can flip it, and you do it, and it's good. If you're being like kind of a little pussy ass bitch in the kitchen, it's gonna show. You know, you just have to assert confidence and dominance over your food. You're in control, you're the master. All right. Mushki's in there, Mike is filming, because we can't afford a film crew. They stole our budget, so we never had a budget. All right. Steak goes in. A little bite. And the steak is already cooked. You only need to cook the steak for a couple seconds. You're not even cooking, you're just kind of heating it up. Don't forget that. Just kind of plate this up, stack on some goods. Jamie Oliver, ladies and gentlemen. All right, sprinkle on some greens. A little garnish, always looks nice. That's what you're missing. That looks beautiful. All Holy right, shit. we don't need a sauce. We did this. Leftovers turn beautiful. Look at that. Steak and mashed potatoes turned into mashed potato fritters with steak and mushrooms. Your friends are all tripping out late night and you look in your fridge and you bust out something like that. Are you kidding me? 